Shaholic fam, and welcome back to another episode. Got the kayaks on the beach uh, for this video, and I'm joined uh, by my buddy Mike, and he has a channel called uh, First State Fishing. So if you're looking for some extra cool fishing content to watch, definitely check him out. And uh, I brought him to one of my favorite spots to uh, surf fish or kayak to and then surf fish. And uh, we're gonna hit the inlet and uh, just walk out on the rocks and hopefully we can find some snook, Jack Kerval, maybe some redfish, tarpon if we're really lucky. And uh, also if we can get some like crabs uh, or you know shrimp maybe even in the cast net, uh, we'll try and catch uh, some sheep's head uh, here or on the way back. So uh, we're just gonna have a day. And uh, Mike, what are you rigging up right now? Got the recommended by Rich Voodoo Shrimp. The, the good right old here. reliable I'm just Voodoo Shrimp. I just wanna, I'm trying to catch fish <laughs> like this guy right here, man. So you'll be happy if you catch one fish. I'll be, I'm happy being out here right now. All right, cool. So, so far the adventure has already started off great. Let's uh, get rigged up and uh, I'll see you guys out on the rocks. Let's catch some fish. All right, let's see if there's any hungry fish here. I'm gonna start out with this Rapala x wrap and Mike went uh, a little bit further out on the rocks. And I'm super stoked to try out my new Daiwa BG MQ6000D. Huge shout out to Daiwa for sending it out this way and for sending out this uh, Daiwa Back Bay 7'6 uh, spinning rod. I haven't fished here in probably a month and a half. So my guess is as good as yours, how uh, good the fishing is gonna be. It's a lot of current right now. Oh, just had a Jack Creval follow this in. Kind of sizable too. Like he wasn't uh, 10 inches, you know, maybe like 15, 20 inches. Just had a Jack Creval swim at it. Oh, just had another one swirl at it. Well, it seems like there's some Jacks here, which will be fun. And my goal for the day is literally just to catch at least one fish on this new stick. And uh, the last time I was here, I actually surprisingly found quite a few redfish. And I'm thinking now that we're, you know, pushing closer into winter, that uh, there might be a shot at even more redfish here in this area. So I have another lighter setup with a small little swim bait that we can uh, hop along the bottom and possibly catch reds with if they're here. Oh, you see that? There was a snook right at our feet. So they're here. Wasn't a big one, but it was a fish. Oh my gosh, Jack just cr followed it to the rocks and did not eat it. The fish are acting so weird today. Like they're really interested, but just not committing. Oh, he's on it, he's on it, he's on it, he's on it. He's still on it, he's still on it. What? That one you guys couldn't really see because he was out further. There he is. Found one. Crushed it on the paws. Just like he was supposed to. Oh, yo, dude, throw over here if you can. There's a jack following my snook. Yeah, I'll hang him in the water. There's a jack right here following the snook. Just cast out this way. He's right under my fish still. All right. He's still right under my fish. <laughs> He's right next to the rocks. Nice. All right, got the skunk out of the way for the day. And even the size, they're fun to catch, so it's better than nothing. All right, well, let's keep it going. Hopefully uh, we can get a few fish. Uh, oh, no, <laughs> you're on the board. <laughs> it's better than nothing. <laughs> All right, congrats. 
Nice. This might be the biggest jack I've ever caught, to be honest. Are you serious? <laughs> I've only caught micros. So. All right, well, you're going to have to beat that today before we leave. Yeah, I'm going to So we're not going home, home until you catch a bigger jack than that. There's giants I'm, like, holding up in my... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll get a bigger one than that. <laughs> All right, pretty cool. Now we're both on the board within, like, minutes of each other. And uh, right now we're kind of, like, passing the halfway point uh, into this uh, outgoing tide. So maybe as we start to get towards the end of this outgoing, uh, the snook and jack will turn on a little bit more. Oh, check this out. Just found a Rapala. Not bad. Looks like the hook's rusted out. And uh, this color will probably be fire uh, in dirty water or at night. Sweet. I'll also take this garbage with me when I leave. There's a bunch of wire and uh, braid all wound up in that uh, weed bun uh, clump. Oh, they just swam out of range. I'm chasing the mullet. I think I got him. And I got a snook for a second. <laughs> there was a snook in there, but he got out. <laughs> All right, we got some fresh bait, boy. That's good, that's good. Yeah, these are perfect. Got five of them. All right, I tried to uh, spend a little more time Looking for bait, and uh, I waited for like 10 more minutes, don't, and I don't see any more, so uh, I'm gonna just have the net at the ready, but I am gonna rig up this uh, Daiwa back base stick with a bait rig. So I'm gonna take an egg sinker and thread it on my 50 pound fluoro leader. Take a little four aught must head circle hook and I'm going to tie it direct with a uni knot and uh, generally with uh, like 50, 60, 70, 80 pound fluoro I do three wraps for my uni, cinch it down tight on the line first and then I pull it uh, tight and uh, I probably should have wet it but you know my line was already kind of wet so eh, it's good enough. Hook them up and throw them out there. Oh, just got eight. Oh no. It was just a small jack curveball, so he, he uh, couldn't eat the whole bait. But that was like instant. Something's trying to eat my bait. Oh, I'm definitely eating. Oh, it came off. Dang. And my bait flew off and went in the rocks. Just lost one. <laughs> yeah, it was a small guy. This little finger mullet's a little smaller, so it might be easier for these uh, smaller fish to eat. Oh, something's looking at them. It's like instant, dude, with the live mullet. You gotta grab one and, and throw them out there. Like as soon as he gets to the bottom, something's like, you know, looking at him and trying to eat him. Look, I just got eight. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, there he is. Oh my gosh, big, big shark chasing him. Did you see that? That was insane. I hope he doesn't. I mean, it's just a Jack Kerval, but uh, that that was crazy how quick that shark was on my jack if i had a big rod i would throw this guy out for bait and we would probably catch that shark there he is this fish saw his uh, life flash before his eyes i think his eyes are like extremely dilated <laughs> Oh, big fish, right up there. Look, he's chasing mullet, reel up your mullet, throw it up there. Reel, hurry, 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 go, 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 go. Throw it up there, that was a big jack, that was a big one. 
Probably like 20 plus pounds. Right, right, yeah, get over there. If you don't go over there, I'm gonna go over there. I'm going over. It's a giant fish. Yeah, he's chasing a giant mullet, dude. There's a bunch of them. There's a whole school of them. There's a whole school of them. I just got eight. I just got eight. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, the hook point went turned back into the bait. Dang it, dude. That's just bad luck. Oh, he's swimming along the rocks. Swimming along the rocks. Oh, God. He ate it right there. He ate it right there. No, he, he spit it out again. What? Oh, I got a little one. Look at them all. It's a monster school of jacks, dude. Throw your bait right near mine. All right, well, we got the dink. Story of my life. <laughs> Come on. He like squeaked or something. All right, so I went back to go grab the cast net because I wanted to try and catch some more bait, but uh, Mike was able to get a redfish. Dude, Heck so yeah, cool. boy. That's the crazy thing. Nice. About freaking Florida, man. You just don't know what you catch. No, this spot, uh, since the fall, it's uh, been loaded with some reds. I knew that they would be here. Stoked you got one. Yeah, dude, I mean, it's... It's not nice bad, yeah. Man. All you know, any of any size, they're fun to catch. Yeah, it's pull hard. I thought it was a snook when I first saw it. I was like, yo. <laughs> and then I saw this, I was like, yo. Yeah. There's yeah. there's definitely more snook in this area than redfish, or you know, so or it's more of a snooky area. But uh, it's cool that some more reds are starting to funnel into this spot. Yeah, dude. Sweet. That's sick. Oh. There you go. You know, that was not majestic. A ten out of ten landing, but. <laughs> that was majestic. <laughs> One could say. He didn't hit the rock, so that's good. <laughs> nice. Uh, I'm gonna go see if I can get some more bait, and hopefully we can keep it going, because we're out of bait now. <laughs> so, all right. Got some. I could barely see him. I can't even see him now. One of them just like barely swam up to, towards the surface. Here, grab them while they're fresh. And this next bait, I'm gonna fish uh, weightless. I think that'll be a little bit better for those uh, bigger jacks if I see them cruising along the rocks. I haven't seen any now. Oh gosh, there he is. Just got eight, just as I looked away. Monster! There he is! <laughs> Woo, boy! I gotta chase him. <sighs> now he's going back that way. Oh my gosh! Oh. <laughs> it paid off. Just hanging the mullet right along the rocks, dude. This is a big jack. <sighs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This fish is making me work out. Oh my God. Oh. She's just in that current and she's hauling butt. I think this big jack is spent. Uh. All right, got her. 
All right, there's a closer look. She's uh, bleeding a little bit because uh, she swallowed the hook, but I cut it back as close as I could, and uh, I think she'll be good to go. Jacks are pretty hardy and super fun. Let's send her back. Oh. And there she goes. Sick. Woo. Now you need one. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Thanks. Oh, Mike is on. Nice, dude. It's probably bigger than your first one. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Maybe. Maybe. Dude, it just started taking. Freaking. He's a little. Dude, that was a he's, big mullet, too. He ate that big freaking. Jack Craval are like vacuums with mouths That's and crazy. fins. It's a little bigger than your first one. It's just um, because, like, I usually don't. When I, when I fish with this, I usually don't free spool. And okay. Down here, like, when you told me to do that, they just shoot off with it. Like, oh, that's I why was, you have to drop it off your finger, you yeah, know? If I wasn't, like, doing that, that, that my rod was freaking flying out. They fly in the water. Yeah. Um, yeah, and also, like, if you don't have, uh, like, if you, if you don't have the least amount of tension, like, if they feel just a little bit, they're going to drop it. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. they, they'll feel they'll feel that they'll know that something's wrong with it nice yeah he, he went strong um so there's one more bait in the bucket um how about you grab that since you still you know you have a hook tied on and everything and i'm just gonna look for more bait and then i might go up that way and uh look for crabs under some of the rocks for sheep's head Found a perfect crab, and uh, unfortunately, I can't find any mullet. So I think I'm just gonna start loading up on these crabs so we can catch some sheep's head. Well, I was able to catch a pathetic amount of crabs by lifting up some of the rocks here in uh, the shallows. Uh, I think we got like six or seven that are good size for putting on a jig head or a hook and, and dropping down near some structure for sheep's head. So uh, what I want to do is go grab Mike and I think we're going to head in that direction around the point and uh, we could catch some snook down there, but uh, there's another rocky section that uh, could be better for catching uh, more sheep's head bait. So I want to go check that out before the tide gets too high because now it's uh, coming in. And if we wait too long, then that area will be fully submerged and then we won't be able to catch uh, more crabs. So let's go uh, see if he caught something on that last mullet and uh, then we'll head that way. Anything else? Well, I got slurped off, but on the not live bait, dude, freaking mullet. I mean, <laughs> Freaking snook came out right here. Yeah. Holy crap. And ate the, the little swim bait? Dude, it, it burned my drag. It was like, and then the fish jumped and it pulled it out of its mouth. Then my warrant flying at me. It was like the Matrix. <laughs> What'd yeah. you get slurped off by? A snook or a jack with the mullet? I didn't see it. Oh, you didn't see it? It's just down there. Dang. Well, uh, what I'm thinking we should do, and I already told the folks at home, is uh, fish our way back and then we're going to go around that sandy point right there. And we'll, we can still fish for snook. That'll probably work, that little swim bait but um, there's a rocky area around there. So we'll just walk there and I think we can get like uh, some crabs. I already got like six or seven, but like really? that's not enough to really like fish for sheep's head and like, yeah. you know, not like actually catch something consistent with it. So we might be able to go around the corner and like look for more crabs by lifting rocks. And if we can get like two or three dozen, then I think we can catch some sheep's head. So let's head that way. I found your paddle. <laughs> On the way here, Mike uh, lost his paddle <laughs> somehow, and uh, it washed into shore. He's lucky. <laughs> he thought that it uh, probably was on its way to the Bahamas by now. <laughs> there must have been a couple big boats that went by and just kept, you know, pushing it in, and then the tide dropped out and left it on the beach. I'll probably just put it up here. Hey, that's not my paddle for our way back. It's not? Yeah, come on, <laughs> it has to be your paddle. <laughs> All right, well, we've been uh, fishing up and down this beach here now for like 20, 30 minutes, and uh, it's sort of paid off because uh, 
I found Mike's uh, paddle for him, so he's not going home uh, without his paddle. Uh, but uh, I haven't had a single bite. Mike hasn't uh, hooked up at all. And uh, also, unfortunately, uh, the rock area where usually I catch uh, a lot of crabs is fully submerged. So I think uh, we should just go back to the jetty and uh, keep fishing there for a little bit longer and then uh, head back to the ramp. Uh, and you know, I, with the few crabs that I have, uh, I'll probably just save for Mike to drop down on some structure on the way back. And if we're lucky, maybe he'll get like one or two sheep's heads. So I'll see you guys back uh, out on the rocks. There's a nice little trough right here that has to have something in it. There's one. <laughs> just when I said there has to be oh, something there, <laughs> he got off, but yeah, there, there's, he was just sitting right in the trough. I bet, I bet there's more, so take a couple casts right in here. We're just on our way back to the jetty, and uh, I knew I had to try this little spot. When we were working out, we just went right to the point, but uh, now there's some better current right here along this stretch of beach. Did you get hit? Oh, you're on, dude. Nice, that's a good size one. Pull him in, pull him in. Booyah, nice. You're on the board? Yeah, I don't want him to be on the rocks to go. Well, you just pull him right up here. Nice, dude. All right, we're back on the rocks now. And uh, we'll probably give it like uh, an hour, maybe two, if the fishing is good. And uh, the water level is up uh, quite a bit more now. So hopefully there's even more fish here than there was before. Oh gosh, good fish. Really good fish, just crushed the hyperelastic. Oh. oh, he's got me on the rocks. I'll get out of there. Not sure what we have here. Might be a snook, because it hasn't really ripped a ton of drag like a jack uh no it's a jack <laughs> i thought it was gonna be a much bigger fish still fun Now that we've made it out here, let's throw the swim bait out and I think I'm gonna troll for like a mile until we get uh, to the structure where uh, Mike can drop down for some sheep's head. Oh, okay. Oh, fish on. On the troll. Did you ever put your Rapala out? I think you definitely would have hooked up. It's nothing too big. Whoa, I'm marking a ton of fish right here, dude. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a snook. These must be stacks of snook right here. I'm gonna get another one real quick, watch this. There is just stacks of snook right here. Oh my gosh. There is tons of them. There he is. Woo! We got a jumper. There are just stacks of them. Nice. This looks like a 
fat snook, which is actually like a different like subspecies. See how he's got like a wider body? See ya. If you uh, follow me up a little bit further, I'll put you right on top of the stack of fish. Oh my gosh, look at all those snook right there. And they're sitting much deeper than I would think they would be sitting this time of year as the temperature of the water is starting to get cold or cold for you know Florida standards. Yeah, let it sink down a little bit and then pedal in reverse and kind of just do like a, a snap jig like I'm doing. Basically just a backwards troll. It's uh, easier to set the hook, of course, when you're like facing the fish. Oh! Just got one right under you. <laughs> Literally got him to eat right under your kayak, dude. They are stacked here. Oh, he jumped over the net and I lost them. There's another. Found another. Another fat snook. Fat snook are stacked. It's funny to find so many of these fat snook down right down here, uh, close to the inlet. When uh, only like three days ago, I was way up river into like basically fresh uh, brackish water, and uh, I was slaying the fat snook up there. There he is. Oh, it's a good size one. Heck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Something a little better. Stay hooked, baby, stay hooked. I knew that there'd be a nicer one here. Oh. Rain up my line. Oh, please don't cut me. Don't please don't cut me. Oh, just caught her in the net. Whoo! That's what I'm talking about. I think we should have just fished here all day. Hey, I try not to be jealous, by the way. What do you got there? <laughs> I think you got like a little sculpin or uh, some type of little grouper. Look at how he ate the hyperelastic. Almost swallowed it. That's what Dr. Juice does to these snook. It just makes them want to eat these soft plastics. And this one is probably just about 29 inches, so it's a nice slot. Woo! Fiery one. Ton of fish right here. Only six feet down, seven feet down. And I'm in 12 feet of water. Now it's eight feet, seven feet. There he is. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. It's not too bad, actually. Well, it's actually the smallest of probably that I've caught right here. Oh gosh, pretty fun when you can get them to eat. <laughs> there he is. It's another fat one. All right, well, we uh, left that snook bite 
the current started to get really really strong so I figured uh, we might as well just let the current keep pushing us back towards the launch and uh, Mike has all the crabs he's gonna drop them on this dock right here and if there's any sheep's head here he should get one all right I got myself one crab out of the bucket Just got eight. There's one. What do we got? What do we got? It looks sheepy. Oh yeah, we got a sheep. <laughs> Woo! We got him. Sweet. And that looks like a keeper too. Let's see if he's 12 inches oh yeah he's like 15 and a half so we got ourselves some dinner all right i bled our sheep and uh we're down to our last two crabs now right so mike and i are gonna split the last two crabs he's not big yeah sometimes they don't have to be big There we go. The handoff. This crab is like, drop me, please drop me. Yeah, he might just be big enough. That's gotta be a right hour. Oh my god, you got cleaned off? Dude, no. Oh, I'm getting bit right now. I, I got cleaned off. I think that's it. <laughs> we fished uh, till the very end. All right, Shaholics. Well, that is a wrap, and we are heading in. And uh, basically, fished all day. Uh, I mean, we kind of started at like 9 a.m., and now you see the sun is going down. Let's check with Mike and uh, see if he had a good time. Thumbs up, thumbs down, in between. Sure. That was fun. <laughs> Wait, it was a thumbs up? <laughs> All right, good. Um, and some water and some food. And, yeah, me too. And Mike said he's uh, starving. I'm starving too. I, I like completely forgot to eat today because I just was so determined to catch as many fish as possible. And um, I'm stoked that I, I was able to get at least one sheep with uh, the few baits uh, that we had. And um, I thought the, the sheeps were gonna be in deeper water off that dock, but it turns out they were much shallower as we started to work our way shallower. Uh, we started getting many more bites. And if we had more bait, we really would have probably whacked them hard. And uh, I'll definitely have to go back out to that dock and uh, you know, see if we can get a limit of sheeps uh, coming up soon. Cause uh, they're starting to really uh, funnel into our waters now that the temps are cooling down. And, and, and you know, they're more of like a um, late fall, winter, early spring species that um, are you know, really uh, congregate in this area a lot. Um, and you can still catch them year round, but um, usually they move off uh, further offshore in uh, the summertime or they move uh, up further north. But um, they're really fun to catch, uh, you know, especially on light tackle. And we really caught like everything on light tackle today. So every fish we caught from the smallest little measly snook to the biggest fish that we caught today was all super fun. And I'll put all my tackle equipment down in the description below, you know the deal. And uh, it was super fun to get the uh, new Daiwa Back Bay uh, bent and uh, here the new uh, Daiwa 6000 BG zipping from some of the fish uh, rip and drag. And uh, I'll put uh, links uh, for that setup in the description as well as you know everything else uh, if I can find it online. And um, huge shout out to Daiwa for actually hooking me up with that setup. And um, I will see you guys hopefully in the next episode. And uh, definitely check out Mike's channel for safe fishing. I'll link it down below. And I will see you guys in the next episode. And like always, live to fish. Fish to live.